Snowing like crazy out here again. We're supposed to get, oh, I'm thinking they're saying four to six inches or something. It was snowing all day, or all night yesterday. And then now today it's snowing again. So, Miley's having a hard time walking through. She's got certain trails she follows now. We will talk to you in the house after I get my coffee. Got my coffee this morning. Got my dog. And I'm shopping for chickens, guys. We still haven't decided if we're going to go ahead and order chickens yet or what we plan on doing because we might be leaving a few times this year. So, I don't know. We may wait till after we go on vacation and just do it next year. I haven't decided yet. I have to talk to Corey about it and see what he thinks. Because then if we, you know, if we leave, we're going to have to have people watch the chickens. And right now we only have one, so we can put one big thing of food in there, one big thing of water, and he'd be okay for, you know, a couple weeks like that probably. So, I don't know. I hate to get chicken sitters all the time because it's a pain in my butt, but <laughs> we do love the eggs. So I guess we'll see. I'll let you know. Breakfast time. I can't wait to get my steamer, guys. I think it's going to be here tomorrow. Can't wait to try it out, and I'll let you know how it works, because if it peels these things easily, it's a keeper. If not, well, I tried again and failed. <laughs> these eggs, I'm telling you, you know how much I love my eggs, and every single morning I fight with them. And it makes me not want to eat eggs anymore. I told them that. I'm like, you guys, come on. Give me a break. Still working on my coffee. Have my salt from Poland that I love so much. And I think I got my eggs pretty perfect. Last time they were a little overdone. Yep. Perfect, guys. Soft boiled, just like I like them. So I'm going to eat these and I will bring you back for snack. It has been non-stop snowing today. It's amazing. I mean, we've gotten so much snow, and I had no idea we were supposed to get this much, but it's been, it was coming down since I left for my meeting last night, and it has not stopped. So we had to have get, gotten five inches or more already. This deck was all cleared off. I mean, the sun had melted it all. So yeah, it's been, the bird feeders are covered again. So been crazy but it's beautiful out here again it's totally white my apple tree I love that tree it just collects all that snow because the branches are so thick and it always looks so pretty so I'm going back in guys it's cold starting dinner up I've got ground chicken onions garlic some celery salt and some Italian seasoning in here and we're going to be having spaghetti for supper tonight Guys, I tried this again. I really want to like it. I really do. I love caramel. Caramel is my favorite flavor in the whole world. And I really want to like this, but... So I thought, oh, I'll try it again, just drinking it plain. Oh, it's just way too sweet. It is. It's just way too sweet tasting. And so I can't drink it. I'll have to find somebody to give these to because I just, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could because I do love caramel, but not going to work for me. Instead of the caramel premier protein, I am having one tablespoon of the peanut butter. Somebody asked me before what kind of um, noodle I used for my spaghetti. This is the kind I use. It is 4 grams of protein per serving and it's 100% whole grain brown rice fettuccine. So there is the... The ingredients, where are you? Right there. Just organic brown rice. So that is it. That's the only thing we use. And this stuff is really good. Sorry guys, I dropped you. <laughs> so anyway, 
Yeah, this stuff is really good. And, um, yeah, it just, it tastes just like noodles to me. And it is organic, non-GMO. That's what we mainly look for is the non-GMO. So this is it, and it is gluten-free. Alright guys, I have Progresso Creamy Tomato with Basil. Now, I was expecting this to have cream in it, that's fine, it's 5 points per cup. Um, but, it has 15 grams of sugar in it, like, no kidding. It tastes so sweet, and I'm not used to a lot of sugar, but yeah, 15 grams of sugar. So I won't be getting this again, I'm glad I only got one can. I will eat this can. I'm just doing a cup because it's five points per cup. That's crazy because of all the sugar. They could have left almost all the sugar out because it is way sweet. It tastes like you're eating candied creamy tomato basil soup, I guess. It kind of it kind of reminds me of the candied yams that I add brown sugar to, a lot of brown sugar to. And this just tastes so super sweet. But, you know, it's been 16 weeks. I really don't eat a lot of sweet things so maybe that's why because that caramel I don't know let me know if you guys think that caramel drink is really sweet and if you've ever tried this let me know what you think about it but I think this is like eating a candied tomato soup bowl and I'm not fond of it <laughs> but I'll drink it just because I don't want it to go to waste so and the caramel thing I just stuck it stuck that in the fridge I can drink it in my coffee I just can't drink it plain like like I can the chocolate. The chocolate doesn't taste nearly as sweet. So there you have it. That's my lunch for today. One cup of tomato soup. One cup of candied tomato soup. Okay guys, I'm having this for a snack. I didn't quite finish all of my tomato soup because oh, it's just too sweet. So 15 of the Kashi Fire Roasted Veggie Crackers. Three of the Swiss Creamy Laughing Cow Cheese. And it is still snowing, guys. It's been hours, and it's still snowing. I'll show you right before dark what it looks like. Just had two of those. That is it. Excuse the dogs in the background drinking their water. I'm going to show you the snow, guys. It's crazy. We got probably over a foot now. My father-in-law was out plowing, which is really helpful. My life's pretty much buried in it now. It goes up past her belly. Oh, turkeys. The dogs ain't chasing them. Too deep of snow. <laughs> I don't know if she'll be able to go to the bathroom. There she goes. My father and I are still plowing out there. It's crazy. And it's still snowing. It's been, it's been snowing all day since last night. I'm going in, it's cold and I have no jacket on. This is what is for snack guys. And um, I had to give a couple bags to my daughter. I bought some cinnamon ones, ate those, almost a whole box on the way home because I was hungry. So I, I should know better, but I don't. And so I ate almost the whole box and now I'm finishing these up because I don't want them in the house anymore. And I buy a box every once in a great while and this happens every time. So I know, I know what happens. But I love them, and it's a nice snack for a while. So I'm having two bags of these, which is four points, and that will be my snack. Spaghetti for supper tonight, guys. That's a smaller size plate. It's not a big plate. So this is about a serving, and then I have two tablespoons of the Parmesan cheese on top. Slow down now. driving should be nice.
Hi guys. Well, it is almost midnight again. I have succeeded to stay up way too late again, but I really had to get my points in or my steps in and I still didn't reach 8,000. I almost did. I was just way too tired. It's like 7,000 something. So I came close, but I got to get to bed. I'm just so tired. I've got my video um, close to processing. I just got to add this video on and then I will process it and get it uploading overnight. But my step into tracking for day 10 went so much better. Almost reached my reached my 8,000 step goal. Got in my water, tracked everything. The only thing I've been having trouble with is the steps, so I gotta work on that. I will do more in the morning maybe and just kind of walk around the house or up and down the steps, whatever. Excuse my hair up because, you know, this is just me. I don't put on a lot of makeup in the daytime. I didn't go anywhere today because we got two feet of snow. So yeah, it was crazy out there. I'll show you in the morning when I let the dogs out what it looks like, but it's beautiful out there. And my husband had to plow through our drift and my father-in-law had just plowed it half hour before he got home. And it was so windy that it drifted right closed again, like the center of our driveway drifts closed every year. And we never learn a lesson and put up a snow fence. Maybe this next year we will. But um, it was really bad and he just plowed right through it and his whole hood was just covered. And I post pictures at the end of the video, so stay tuned, watch all the way to the end and you'll see those pictures. But man, it was just amazing how much snow was on his hood of his car because he said it was clear when he was driving down the highway. So step into tracking one great. I'm gonna close up the vlog here. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I do have um, lots of snow footage in there because all it did was snow all day. So that is it. Um, I don't think there's anything else I needed to mention. No. And I will see you guys all in the morning. Thank you so much for watching. And please, if you aren't subscribed, subscribe so you, so you don't miss out on any of the videos. So we will see you in the morning. Bye-bye. This is the hood of my husband's car after he got done plowing through the um, drift that had formed in the in our driveway. And before when he was driving, you could see that the hood was totally clear. So that is pretty cool. He just about didn't make it.